Diamond Kings triple team tiered. Good luck, y'all. I, I think I can I think I can pull together another blitz mix for tomorrow night. I might be short a box or two of something, but I think I can pull off a very similar blitz mix. Yes. Yo, what up, NVT? It's a brand new dude. Welcome. I'm doing good. You in some breaks tonight? If you are, welcome. If you're not, welcome. Does everybody see MVT in there? He might be in the wrong chat. Michael Van Tessel, live tonight at 10 o'clock. It's Michael Van Tessel with your news. Are you a newscaster, Michael Van Tessel? Or are you an offensive lineman? Yeah, you're in the wrong chat, MVT. Oh, thanks, Joe. Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna stay on top of that, dude. You know me. <laughs> defensive lineman. Yeah, I, I figured either you're either a defensive lineman. You do the local news cast in like Biloxi, Mississippi, or a defensive lineman. Michael Van Tessel. Actually, with a name like Michael Van Tessel, you actually sound like you were one of those quarterbacks that got drafted in the 150th round, and you've like been holding a clipboard for 14 years, and then one day, starting quarterback goes down, and you get in, and Michael Van Tessel throws three touchdowns for like 300 yards in his first and only game ever. <laughs> 
Michael Van Tessel holds a clipboard for 14 years and comes in for Russell Wilson in week 15 and has three touchdowns and 300 yards passing. I'm trying to get MVT over into our main chat. How'd you find me, MVT? Twitter? Todd Van Poppel. Yeah, exactly. Michael Van Tessel? <laughs> Tassel. I just like names, man. I'm a weirdo. I love trying to deduce people by their name and what they're into or their screen name. Oh, you saw it over on Twitch machine? Are you a gamer? Good luck, all. Ah, uh, Billy Joe Tolliver was another good one. Billy Joe Tolliver. How about, um, did somebody say, oh yeah, someone said Todd Van Poppel. There was a goofy court. Oh, uh, what the hell is this? I'll think of some more. Ah, oh, my main man, JDB, from USC, right? John David Booty? How many other three named players can we come up with? Todd Van Poppel, John David Booty. Um, Alex Van Pelt. Alex Van Pelt. You're welcome. Alex Van Pelt. I win. No one's topping Alex Van Pelt. There's just, you're not. Oh, really, Michael? You know how to do that? Have 600 followers on Twitch? How'd I do that? Wow, we'll just start off with the Gliber Auto. Looks like Eric picked the wrong box tonight. Eric, if you're watching, there was two boxes here. He picked a box. Hopefully you got something in your other one, but this was in the other one. If that makes any sense. You picked the other one, but this was in the other one. That's numbered to nothing. A base auto Gliber, but still, that does not suck. All right, we already said Billy Joe Tolliver. There's breakers. Of, what's that? Michael Van Tessel. Talk show podcast. That's where all the breakers are. What is that? Help me out, MVT. You know, back in the day when I was on Twitch and nobody else was, I would get kicked off Twitch all the time because I was a breaker. And I tried contacting Twitch saying, look, man, you're missing a big opportunity here with these live group breaks. They wouldn't let me on. They kept booting me off, changing, not bl uh, blocking my channel. Do you do breaks, MVT? So you came over to YouTube, right? How'd you get to YouTube from Twitch? I don't spend a lot of time on, you know, marketing on Twitch, but I probably should. 
I wonder if Twitch has advertising opportunities. You know, like boosting your channel to people or something. Like you can on Facebook and YouTube. I mean, followers are awesome because the more you have, the more chances you have of them buying spots. But I do have a good quality, tight-knit group of people that fills out the breaks just that meets my schedule. Justice. Seattle Justice. Well, good. I look look forward to having you on my breaks, dude. I think I already checked these, or maybe I didn't. We got an auto of this guy last night. Oh, cool. I got to update then. When I was <laughs> when I was on vacation, Diamond King Master Case. If you guys want to help out your favorite breaker or me, I got to move a lot of that prism or a lot of that uh, Diamond Kings because hopefully it leads into National Treasures for us in six months when it comes out. Red Pedro. I do have a dope BGO bat. We got to get Ed in some of these breaks so he can get his entries for Tom. Dun, 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 dun. I mailed out you guys' stuff today. You probably got your updates. I'm really trying to do shipping every day. If I can get stuff out the door every day, or at least every other day, three times a week, I think you guys would like would like that. Oh, someone was asking for a Juan Soto. You shall have it. 12 of 25. Carter, I sent, sent out like three stuff for you this week. What do you mean the cards? I I don't I didn't see any PayPal come in, so I didn't mail those. Here you go, pets. You would give him that Tom Brady helmet if you want it, Grammy. That's how good of a heart Grammy has. He just doesn't care. He just wants someone to be happy. I'm sure you could squeeze some money out of him or a trade. <laughs> You're welcome, Scott. I meant to do that for you. Anytime I pull your guys' hits for you, no matter who it is and when, especially if it's a PC hit, I meant to do that for you. Just so you know, for the record. Look, Ed's ears are Ed's ears are burning. Can't believe we're going to do a blitz mix tonight. Well, Ed, good thing you're positive. Good thing you're in the right direction by being positive or not. 
I mean, by you saying that, you literally just told the universe, I don't want to win one. Come on. Don't you guys listen to my podcast with Ty? Got to be positive. By the way, did you guys listen to the podcast? Can you go there and uh, share it, like it, do whatever you do to it, thumbs up it? It really helps Ty out. And I want to be able to help others like they have all helped me get where I am today. Jeff McNeil. Jeff is New York. Oh, the Blitz Mix? That's my marquee break every week. That we've been doing for four years. It's on the website. It's just a big mixer of um, football products. And I add in a bunch of cool stuff like jerseys and autographs and awards. And it's usually priced really reasonable. I didn't say too low. <laughs> Pretty sure I could have did this one at 179 Yeah, we're going to do that bad boy tonight. Normally it's on a Saturday night. 